Good morning everyone and welcome back. In this video, I will mention all the important notes for your step one about digoxin. Let's look at the mechanism of action first. So imagine that this is a myocyte or heart muscle. On this side, we have a sodium potassium ATPase, which we have in pretty much all muscles. This exchanger takes sodium from the inside and put it outside the cell and takes potassium from the extracellular space and put it inside the cell. So sodium goes out, potassium goes in. And on the other side, we have another transporter called sodium calcium exchanger. This exchanger only works when there is low sodium levels inside the cell. It pulls sodium into the inside and expels calcium. Now calcium is very important because it causes the myocyte contraction. So if we can figure a way to stop this transporter from expelling all this important calcium, we will have increased calcium and increased contraction of the myocyte. And that's the function of digoxin. It inhibits the sodium potassium ATPase, which expels sodium from the inside. And because we have increased intracellular sodium, the sodium calcium exchanger will not work, leaving us with plenty of calcium inside the cell and more contraction. And that's basically how it works. And here is the text if you want to read it. Note that digoxin also affects vagus nerve to decrease heart rate. So we have two main uses for digoxin, to decrease heart rate by affecting vagus nerve and to increase contraction in patients with heart failure. Digoxin infamously causes hyperkalemia. Because remember, it blocks the sodium potassium ATPase, which normally draws potassium into the cell. So once we block this exchanger, all this potassium will have nowhere to go and will only accumulate. And that can cause arrhythmias. In cases of hyperkalemia causing arrhythmias, we normally use calcium gluconate to treat it, but we cannot do that with the digoxin toxicity. The causes of digoxin toxicity are renal failure, because that's how digoxin is excreted, hypokalemia, and any drug that displaces digoxin. Symptoms vary from GI disturbances to hypotension, which is fatal. To remember the antidote or the treatment for toxicity, I remember MAPS. So M for magnesium, A for antidigoxin antibodies, P for potassium normalization, you'll have to put potassium back to its normal levels, and S for a pacemaker or a synchronizer. The main contraindications for digoxin are verapamil, which increases the AV block, thus decreasing the heart rate. Amiodarone is also contraindicated because it causes visual disturbances with digoxin. I'm not really sure why. And also quinidipine. All right, now let's see how much you retain from this video by answering these questions. And here are the answers. Alright guys, hopefully this helps and I'll see you guys later.